You know, I give a lot of speeches, Akash, and I try and have an acronym to use. And my acronym right now is not an acronym, but a reminder, AIIC. Age, inflation, immigration, crime. And it's usually age, immigration, inflation, crime in that order. And it depends on what inflation is doing. Uh, the age issue is on display. The crime issue did not come up. But the inflation issue is so real. And for him to say it's coming down, it, it, the, the Snickers bar stuff, I'm just astonished at how bad the speech was. I, I, don't you deal honestly with what happened, which was we overspent on COVID recovery. We are, were awash in money and too few goods being pursued by too many. Do do doesn't honesty ever work with the American people? I think honesty would work, but what they're banking on is that class warfare works better. And I, I hope to God that's not true. I trust that that's not true, but they do this every election year, Hugh. You've been doing this a long time. I've seen this many times now. Class warfare, right? It's reckless spending ideas, giveaways, special interest giveaways to the, you know, the, the global warming movement and labor unions and class warfare. The rich don't pay their fair share, which you and I know full well is, is beyond false. Um, you know, we need to raise taxes on the wealthy. Ironically, in the process of talking about class warfare, he actually tacitly endorsed at least a portion of the 2017 Republican tax cuts because he said he wants to extend some of them, but not some of them. Uh, I'm, so that's what they're leading. I'm so up. glad you it's brought that up. That was the most incoherent. No one in the home audience who is not named a cash or hue understood what he was trying to do there, which was the extension of the tax cuts. Do, do you think that was in the speech? I mean, because it yeah. didn't make it, there was no argument made about what it happened and what's going to happen and the extension that has to happen. No one who isn't not doesn't follow this closely and read the journal or work for Americans for Prosperity or go to Bidenomics.com had a clue what he was talking about. No, I mean, th that's the thing. The, they're, they understand the politics of mainstream America and of moderate America and swing voters, they're just choosing not to embrace it. Most Americans like tax cuts. They like the 2017 tax cuts. It is false that they disproportionately helped the wealthy. It was people on the lower rungs of the income ladder who saw the greatest wage gains after those tax cuts. And so there's a lesson there for Republicans, too, Hugh, in, the, in an election year, which is that they don't need to change course from limited government and free markets. You have some Republicans leaning in on going big government and we need to use agencies and increase spending and increase welfare handouts to compete with Democrats. You know, President Trump yesterday came out and opposed this TikTok ban bill. So we don't need to do this thing where we depart from what has worked for Republicans because even Democrats in the White House know that free markets and limited government work. The message- Well, I, I want to ban TikTok, but a cash, I, I want to close by asking you to, a request. The attack on landlords and the threat to use the antitrust laws is the worst idea I've heard in a long time. It will exacerbate. I am in California now. I will be back in the Beltway soon. The ability to rent in California is gone because we did not build and we did rent control. Are you going to add something about that over at Bidenomics.com? I'm working on it. I woke up this morning. That was the first thing I thought of when I thought of this speech, Hugh, because, again, as a millennial, I have dozens and dozens and dozens of friends who cannot afford their first home. That proposal is going to make that significantly worse we have an oversupply and people can't afford, an undersupply excuse me and people can't afford to begin with subsidizing home ownership is going to make that problem worse that is at the crux of nearly every economic proposal that he laid out another government good for you the supplier I, will, I will be at bidenomics.com today and I'm, I'm holding you to that because that was that was truly bad economics 101 that was act 10 done wrong uh a cash good to talk to you always americans for prosperity great great sponsor of the show